this is a test. This is a test. This is a test to see how well I'm in focus. If I'm not in focus and I failed that life and I failed at film school, well, now I need to go back and do it again. The focusing, not the fucking film school. You know, sometimes you just need to have a clip. Ah, you're in my light. My light is in my light, my natural lighting. So let me fix that. I'm stuck in my own reflection. I have that fucking song stuck in my head. I have it in my head. I stuck it in my head. I stuck it in my head. Well, I did because I listened to it, so it's now technically stuck in my head because I stuck the song in my head. I did it all. I did it all. I did it all for you. Hello. Hi. How are you? I was looking down at my legs, but I meant to say hi to you. How are you doing? I hope you're doing fabulously. Great. Look at my shirt. I don't know if you can see it, but it says a pineapple a day keeps the doctor away and makes your girlfriend stay. All right, here we go. So a lot of my questions that I get to do these advice videos, if you will, I get them from people coming in on Tumblr and sending me messages and asking me questions. This is anonymous and this one says, Stacey, why do I feel like I'm not good enough to be loved? I want love and to be loved, but I'm afraid that I never will. I don't want to die alone. I always think that no one will ever find me attractive. You know, this is something that is actually out there a lot. a lot of us go through a point in time in our life where we feel this or we are actually feeling it now or we've felt it before or we haven't yet felt it but will one day i feel like it's a universal feeling whether it's with relationships whether it's a profession whether it's something that you like to do a hobby a friendship or any kind of relationship not just romantic there's a point where we all feel this way where we're just not good enough or what we're doing is just not good enough i feel like this all the time and something that we need to just accept we just need to know that we're gonna have these kinds of feelings but there's the difference between allowing it to just be there all the time and just screw you over and, and take charge of your life and it's another thing to know that it will happen, know that it can't happen, know that it may not, know that it will, but learn how to get over that obstacle and how to take it with more ease. But I feel like it's really hard to think about that when you're going through these things. I mean, I know for one, I, when I feel like I'm not good enough for any reason, I feel like I know in my heart that it's just something that's passing, something that is just here for the moment and it's gonna pass. And the only way to get my out of that is doing something that I know that I can accomplish right then and that given moment. It's just like a little incentive. If you just get up and do it, if you go out and hang out with friends, if you just get your mind off of it, not completely just run away from it because running away from your problems, obviously it just doesn't ever help. They don't go away. They're not ever gonna go away until you make them go away. It's personal recognition when you finish something, when you accomplish something, when you get it done. Like even if it's just cleaning the bathroom, you're just like, ah, oh, finally I did. Now I can rest. I don't have to think about doing it. I don't have to have it on my mind. Like I gotta wash my bathroom. I gotta wash my bathroom. Or I gotta clean my bathroom. Clean wash Sometimes we just need to hear it from somebody else. So if you need to hear it from somebody else, watch this video when you're feeling sad because I'm telling you right now that whatever you're doing is what you need to be doing right now. If you feel like fucking shit, it's because you need to be going through that at this moment. But as soon as that's over with, you will have a better time and everything's gonna be better and everything's gonna be awesome and it's gonna get better. It always does. I think I went off on a completely different tangent, but just this whole point is that you are good enough and yes, you're gonna feel these things and it's okay to feel these things. It's a human feeling. It's a human emotion. Keep that in mind that we're gonna feel this way and, and that's okay. But I don't want you to think that you're just never gonna find anyone and that no one's gonna think that you're attractive because that is the wrong kind of attitude that you should have and I don't mean attitude like whatever I mean like the right kind of attitude like positive attitude you need to have a positive outlook on life even if shit is going wrong it's so hard to do trust me it's easier said than done I know it can be done and when you do it you're gonna see a huge difference but don't think that way there's seven billion people in this world like more than that but you know what I mean there are a couple jillion of yous out there that are feeling the same way that you are. The population is growing day by day. You're bound to find someone. You can find someone. There are thousands of people out there wanting to be loved, wanting to have a relationship. Don't completely block yourself out from that. Yes, I know. I, I feel you. I feel where you want to sit, where you want to be loved and you want to love. It's an amazing feeling. It's fucking amazing when you fall in love. And it's just wonderful. I, I, I love love. 
and I know that you won't experience that but it's all in good time and you will see soon enough you're gonna fall in love and you're gonna have that person to love and you're gonna have that person to love you back it's gonna be great and you won't die alone and trust me there are a lot of people in the world a lot of people and you're bound to find one person the question says why do you feel that way here's my answer because you're allowing yourself to feel that way you are in control of your emotions and the way you feel you are in control of what gets to you what you let get to you nobody else is controlling your feelings and being like hey, today I'm going to make you feel a little bit mad and a little bit hungry is that an emotion? I think so. No, probably not. I don't know. But we're going to fuck with it anyway. Okay, like nobody's there doing that. It's you. You're in control of your feelings. You're in control of what you want to deal with, what you want to hear, what you don't want to hear, what you want to take to heart, what you don't. That's where you need to come in and you need to turn that around and you need to be positive and you need to tell yourself that you are good enough and that you are worthy of being loved and that you will love and have someone to love and love you back one of these days. And you need to just be positive, you know, focus on the important things for now and everything else is gonna fall into place everything else is gonna come about worry about yourself and do things that have a positive impact on your life and just go out there and get it and you'll see in time that everything's gonna get better the main thing is just don't think that way don't think that you're not good enough don't sit there and ask yourself why you feel that way over and over again don't dwell on it move on you are gonna find that person and when you do you're gonna think of this moment when you did feel this way and you're gonna say wow you know it's crazy how things change and I so glad that I never continued to have that same mentality and here I am now, happy and in love. So I hope this made you feel a little bit better. I hope that if you do know somebody that's going through this or you know this could help some of you pass this on. Follow me on all my social medias. If you haven't already, if you have, thank you so much. If you will, thank you so, so much. I appreciate you guys. I will see you guys in the next video. All right, bye.